Ladies and gentlemen, you read the title correctly. It's a sad day. July 6th is the date that my main Steam account has received a game ban. Every single pixel in my inventory, worth thousands upon thousands, 400,000 in total to be exact, is banned. Untradeable, unsellable on the market, everything. Banned. I've been receiving comments all week. RIP Steam account. Sad face. Imagine having a VAC ban on Steam. Then you have the distinguished gentleman. We are so sorry your Steam account got trade banned. Your Steam account banned today? Juicy, did your Steam get banned or am I tripping? We even have TDM Jesus saying, I guess he's extra banned now. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> Anomaly, asking the real questions. How will this affect LeBron's legacy? Some people cracking jokes that aren't even funny. You guys get the gist. So to my haters and to everyone out there that is laughing at me, saying I deserve this ban, rubbing it in my face, taking this opportunity to kick me while I'm down, I would like to say I've had an account alert since September 19th, 2017. I haven't been able to buy, trade, gift, sell, anything since 2017. So for everyone saying, damn, I'm sorry, or suck it, bro, I've had six plus years to deal with the loss of this inventory, so it ain't even that deep. The next question is though, what the heck is this ban about? It says you've been permanently banned by Overwatch and CSGO. Dude, I thought, is Overwatch even a thing anymore? Is CSGO Overwatch still a thing? Bro. Yeah, it's gone. So, uh, what? Since this account has a trade ban, I haven't played on Valve secured servers in many years. Your boy Juicy, like any competitive gamer, chooses face it all day, 128 tick servers over the 64 tick garbage that Valve will offer you. And I'm not too bad at the game. Highest level on face it, level 10, you know. I'm on the upper echelon percentile, but I'm still terrible. Your boy was grinding for some months, even putting solid numbers up against pro gamers. I mean, check this out. Ignore the headshot percentage. It might be the lowest in the server. <laughs> Your boy can up, okay? But the reason I say this is because Faceit has their own anti-cheat detection which you have to download on your computer that's actively scanning your computer while you're playing the game for anything that might be giving you an edge in the server, aka a cheat. And to this day, I'm still able to queue on Faceit, ban free, and this is the only place I play. <laughs> it's It doesn't make any sense. So. I contacted Valve support. Thank you for submitting information about your CSGO game ban. This information will be forwarded to the CSGO team for review. Information about CSGO game bans included why they are issued can be found here. This is where it gets confusing. Please note that you will not receive another response to this help request. Even though the CSGO team is unable to respond to individual inquiries, they do review help requests submitted through this path. Ah. But let's read this article that they supplied us. Game bans in CSGO are issued when a player attempts to circumvent or to interfere with game systems to the detriment of others. Alright, examples include cheating, obvious one, manipulation of matchmaking rank by deranking or falsely increasing your skill group, okay, botting and or automation, and then the last one, intentionally interfering with the normal operation of game servers or other players. It also says they cannot be appealed or removed from accounts, even though they said they're going to review the ban, so I, again, very confused, Valve, what are we doing here? Ball sore. <laughs> What kind of name? I'm not even, don't worry, don't worry. For anyone wondering, I was falsely Overwatch banned on August 1st. Happened to me, okay. Then falsely vacked on August 12th. I sent Steam support tickets immediately after I got these, so I'm assuming I'm one of the first to receive a false ban removed. I'd be surprised if he's the first, but if he is, hopefully I'm the second. From what I'm seeing, many other have been falsely banned, so I hope to see others get theirs removed as well. And just scrolling, this is three years ago, keep in mind. Mine was removed too, 108 up votes lucky you he had to wait 52 days for his to be removed similar screenshot not identical but similar i don't know where these guys got their data three years ago but this guy's saying 500 out of 20 million people were falsely banned those are the 500 people proven innocent i mean when you have a system that's so good at banning people at such a successful rate you immediately think anyone that's banned is a sucker and as we read up a little bit you see that face it anti-cheat is what they call intrusive so that shit is digging through everything bro it's touching your anime folders this guy makes a great point though even the greatest anti-cheats don't protect you from everything fair all right totally fair download any of these demos watch the game it's so flabbergasting and yes, I just said flabbergasting that you can play this game for a straight decade. Invest so much time into learning nades or terrorist side strategies, learning advanced CT holds, learning your spray control, everything just to get told, nah, you're cheating.
or something like that. I, you know, there's a couple options, but <laughs> this account has been community banned for six plus years. So I've been getting comments. Oh, this is because you play on the gambling site. Dude, I couldn't even log into any site, any Steam website. I can't log into it with the community ban. It's just error. Also, this is the account I've been trading on for the past few years. This is the account I withdraw all my skins to when I gamble. And it's also the account that I like to play with my friends on because they're not level 10 on Face It. And I actually do play a lot of matchmaking here. But yeah, you guys get the point, man. You guys get the point. At the end of the day, you guys have to form your own opinion. I know some people don't trust me. Some people disagree with me morally. Some people are going to instantly write me off. And that's okay. You don't have to be my advocate. You don't even know me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I literally can't play on any Valve official server. Pretty, pretty funny story. Honestly, I was surprised. I'm not really upset at all because this inventory has been banned for years, as I've stated. I want to go over some of my funny skins, though, that will never be able to trade. This one, the Souvenir Op Dragon Lore Field Tested, priced well over 40 thousand dollars and it might be one of the very few scraped souvenir dragon lores i thought i would put my own juicy flair to it because it's untradeable so we crafted a one-of-a-kind scraped atlanta 2017 souvenir field tested dragon lore and to this day one of my favorite ops i also got a ton of gloves this is before they were even worth anything bro they were worth like 300 400 bucks complete stonks those went up like crazy. Also, I have like 20 to 23 and my bayonet urban masks. I made a full video about this. It's got 750,000 views. If you want to know why I have these, I recommend you check out that video. Obviously, beautiful M9 Bayonet Emerald. This is pretty sad. We got three butterfly knife gems, two rubies, and a sapphire. I crafted this myself, the I Buy Power Onitaji, and then a handful of howls. And at the very bottom, we have our Dragon Lore collection, which is... Oof. All jokes aside, boys, this inventory will be missed. I mean, look at this. 2016, seven years ago, I'm on noobs. Seven years. Just me and my homie, who now is a producer, signed the Mike will make it or made it. Playing H1Z1, looking at the world, thinking about life. <laughs> what the dog doing? Also, this screenshot, which was before I was even a YouTuber, I was just an irrelevant fanboy, fanboying McSkillet. I mean... It's pretty insane. But my final word is a small percentage of CSGO's player base have and will be wrongfully banned. And God forbid the ban does stick. Without a detailed explanation of why it was given, I'll feel genuinely so scammed out of a large percentage of my life. I mean, so many of my friends, so many of my memories were made on this account. And I already can't trade, dude. I can't even buy games. It's like I'm already in handcuffs and they're like, Give him the death penalty. Like, what the hell? What did I do, bro? What did I do? As always, boys, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I hope that shed a little more light on the situation that I'm in, because I honestly have no idea either. <laughs> you know just as much as me. If you want some amazing Counter-Strike videos, I have two for you on screen right now. And if you've already seen them, then subscribe, turn on post notifications, and we'll see you guys back here same time tomorrow with another banger. Much love, boys. Be smart, be safe. It's been your boy, Juicy, and I'm out. Peace.